beautiful, beautiful soul, I want to share with you the process that I'm in. Not from a place of, I, I know it all. Not from a place of, I've figured it all out and now my life is wonderful, but just from from this position of I'm, I'm finding something really potent that I want to share with you in case that this is maybe something for you as well. And it might, it might fit, it might not, I have no idea. There is no one size fits all in, on this journey. There is like trial and error and just, just see what works for you. So what works for one person, it might completely not work for another. But anyway, all I can just share is my is my own personal experience. And I'm really I'm really uncovering a lot of shame and a lot of witnessing of that shaming mechanism. And I've watched a video by Tim Fletcher, a friend of mine sent me that and I, I shared that on the community tab. And that explained this whole this prison that shame creates, especially with CPTSD. And it, it just really highlighted this mechanism, how we're really shaming ourselves all day long. And it's, it's, it's wild, it's really wild, but it's really potent to make this, make this conscious. So at first it might be like, oh my God, I wasn't aware of all the shaming I'm doing to myself, all the bullying I'm doing to myself all day long. And then when you see it, it you know, it was like, oh, it, it hit really hard when I when I watched that video and I felt, oh my God, like I'm my, my own worst nightmare and then I even spiritualize it. And that it can, it can stick even longer. So, you know, yeah, so I just wanted to just share a little bit about this. <sighs> yeah. So for example, I might have emotions come up, sensations, emotions come up. And then there's this like, don't, don't go into self pity. Don't, uh, don't be negative. Don't, uh, move forward, be grateful, like all these things. And they're really shameful. Like it's, it, it's, it's all moving me away from my experience. And there's such a fear then, you know, like, don't feel, don't feel what you're feeling. Like you're in self pity. Like don't be in self pity. That's horrible. What, what if I was in self pity? Like what if, what if I was in self pity? And in that moment, I, I wasn't sure what's the difference between self pity and self compassion. If I accept what I feel, is that self pity or is that, is that compassion? I was just like, let's, let's just like say no. So we're not doing the wrong thing. But that actually it just prevents you from just feeling what is arising and so so i thought you know what if i what if i just feel you know what if i okay what if it was self-pity i wasn't sure if it if it was what what if it was self-pity and i just i just allow i allow myself to be in it and i'm not i'm not changing it i'm not like oh my god something horrible is gonna happen if i go into self-pity what's what's gonna happen I'll never get out of it. I'll never be anywhere different than where I'm now. But this whole, like, I, I need to be anywhere different than, than where I'm now. Like, that's this whole, I don't want to be here. I want to be somewhere else. And that for me is like the, the biggest problem. I don't want this now. I need to get out of now. Now is wrong. I am wrong. Everything is wrong. And so, so for me, the process at the moment is like, what if I just let myself be in it? You know, and, you know, you can get so confused from, from all these advice, uh, pieces of advice, like do this, do this. And they, they can be even opposites, like feel your emotions, don't be in self-pity, do this, do this. And you're like, I don't know what, I don't know what I'm feeling specifically. I don't know what the right response is. I don't want to get it wrong. If I get it wrong, I'll be punished somehow or something bad is going to happen. And, that, and it can really like... It can really create a really deep panic spiral of can't do the wrong thing, horrible. Gotta find the, the best way out, and the more you try, the the more the harder it, it gets. And um, and so I was like, yeah, you know what? Okay, I don't know if I'm in self pity or not, but I'm I'm just I'm just gonna feel this. I'm tuning in with myself. What what do I feel like doing? 
What, what is natural? What, what comes natural in this moment? And there was just this, I, I just, I just want to, I just want to feel it. Yeah, it doesn't feel good. You know, of course it feels better to get up and go on a run or to paint something or uh, distract or eat or, or like eat some, yeah, eat, eat something or like numbing, any sort of numbing mechanism. Yeah, that feels better. But for some reason, I'm like, no, actually, I, I, I want to feel this. I actually want to feel this. And, oh my God, you're indulging, don't indulge, you know, move towards your goals and and make something out of your life. Be useful, be helpful, all these shaming things. And then I, I was just like, you know what? I've been I've been trying for years with shaming, but you, you can't shame yourself into evolution, not into sustainable evolution. Yeah, you can shame yourself quickly into something, but is that really lasting change or lasting evolution? And... Uh, you know, if if we want to change, it, it can come from a, a loving, deeply loving place, but, but it can also come from a sh shameful place. And so, at the moment, there's there's this experiment. What if I what if I leave myself alone and I I just do what naturally comes rather than constantly being at war with myself? Another example I can give you from my own life is like, um, you know, mornings are very very difficult to transition between sleep and then coming out of my dreams and then arriving here as this person on this planet and it just feels really really overwhelming and like it's, it's very very difficult for me to get up and so usually i wake up and i'm like oh i i i, I don't want to get up <laughs> and then i i have another round of sleep so i get up early and then i'm like no i don't, I don't want to get up so I could be shaming myself, no, you should get up early, that's healthier, or it's this, or it's that, or you you should be in control of your life, and it's not so bad, why are you making such a fuss? Or I'm just like, what do I feel like? You know what, I feel like just going back to bed and sleep another round. And then when I wake up, you know, like I could also again shame myself, yeah, jump out of bed now, you can do this, yeah. and Or I, I can just let myself leave myself alone and just sit in bed for as long as I need to sit in bed. And that, that can be a while. And, you know, there can be this fear, but what if I don't push myself? Will I ever get out of bed? What, what if I don't push, then I'll never get out of bed? Well, I cannot speak for every single person on the planet. And I guess there are people who never get out of bed, but I'm not one of those. Like, for me, it's just... It actually feels really good to not push myself out of bed and force and unless there is a an appointment I have to absolutely go to, you know, I, I can I can choose how I um how I follow my day. I don't I don't have to necessarily um get up right now and jump and and so I I'm I'm just like I'm sitting there and like just feeling this like what this this whole this overwhelm and the stimulation in the body and this is like holy shit it's morning <laughs> and and then after a while and that could be 20 minutes and it could be two hours there is a point when i'm like oh yeah now i, I now i'm able to get up and now i'll I'm, I'm ready to tackle all the things that need to be done and so for me that there's there's a natural point when it's done when it's just it just happens it seems like oh and now i'm getting up now i want to eat something and i i, I just want to do the, the things and just tackle the day and yeah it might it might still be like oof, tackling the day but there's there's a readiness there, there's a moment where that is just right and yeah this this whole experience um and this is a very um this is a very personal interpretation for me. It's it's a bit like waking up is a bit like being born. Like you're in the womb, you're under the blankets, and then it's nice and cozy and warm and dark. And then you kind of have to get into this bright light of life. And, and suddenly there's all these things and demands and, you know, longer supported by the mother, you know, like the, the womb, the this this inner universe, it just pops and you got to get out. And is it, I don't know, it, it feels a bit like like that experience 
suddenly you got you got to be a separate person and you 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 just have there's all these demands and it, it's like the lights are too bright and the temperature isn't right and it's just really i find it really traumatizing waking up really traumatizing it's just very overwhelming and and so it's really really kind to not to to have it like this this gentle transition into waking up and sometimes i don't even want to you know put up the blinds i just wanted to to stay dark because the light is so bright in the morning and to just have it have this gentle okay i'm coming back to the body okay and there, there is something really beautiful about this kindness and not shaming you know i could go shaming like you're not a baby anymore this is bullshit this is all just thoughts get on with your day and and i'm like you know what no like i've been trying the shaming and you know like that's what i've been um that's what I've been given the the tool of shaming. That's 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 what's passed on to me from you know society caregivers um, because they that's what they learned. So they just did their best. But now like I can I can break this shame prison. Like I I don't have to shame myself. So this is so this is what it is. So what you know that's um, I've always struggled with waking up and getting up early and I, I just want to wake up when my body is ready and just it's quite a process the mornings but then also I'm super like super brilliant and bright at night like I'm like I'm a night person when everything gets quiet and dark and I, I can really like and do my art at night and, and so I'm really like yeah I sleep super late at the moment but I, I also stay up late and I get a lot done at night after this whole everything that needs to be done all the all the to do's of the day like exercise and smoothies and juicing and and this and this and this and this it's like oh my god all these things need to be done but then and in the evening there's this point where there's no more to do's all you know laundry is done cleaning is done everything household body related is done and it's just oh my god i like and i usually feel better and more here in, in in the evening so there's there's that as well so so yeah so this whole this whole shaming thing and you know i i think i i got stuck for a long time and i don't i don't know if i'm over it i'm talking as if as if i'm over it i don't know if i'm over it um you know like i, I got stuck in 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 spiritual sentences like I'm not the body like this is an illusion you don't exist there is no body who has pain who is the one who experience who experiences that and that's very dismissive of the human experience and it wasn't helpful it was just like shame in disguise like like yeah it's right you know in the non-dual uh, teaching yeah you're not the body you're not this you're not this like, like that's correct but I was interpreting it through this lens of shaming myself and I know you can also do that without shaming yourself, but I think I was just filtering it through the corrupt lens of shame. So someone else, they could do it without shaming, but I did it with shaming. So, and I guess when, when, you, when you have an issue with shame, then you'll use whatever, everything is gonna be used like to shame yourself. Yeah, so I think this is, um, this is just the the process of like letting myself do what i what i want to do like what comes natural to me what does my body need getting in touch with that which, which is a bit difficult what do i need what needs i don't know what i need but just getting in touch with that like what what could i need and and just tuning into that and just doing what's natural rather than the shoulds in my head and the ideas of what i should need or should want or should do it's like, what is my direct experience? What do I feel in my body? Just connecting with that and connecting with what's what's natural and then doing that. And maybe I can't do that in every single situation of my day, of my life, but can I bring more of that to my life? Like these moments when I can just follow my own rhythm and my own, what, what I what what just the, the natural way and i think our society is just so much gone into pushing and forcing and away from our needs and away from our bodies and i'm i'm just i've been very very disconnected from my body and i'm i'm just on this journey of coming back to the body and 
So yeah, this is this is this is now this this interesting phase of what if I don't force? What if I don't jump out of bed? What if I don't eat when I think I have to eat? Or like, what if I just tune in and see what what comes naturally? And for me, it's, it seems that seems to be really healing. Like, I don't know if that's healing for every single person on the planet. Probably not. You know, there, there might be someone where that's really healing for them to push. You know, but for me, I've been pushing all my life, so it's almost the antidote of a natural pattern of pushing, 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 and then allowing is like so healing. And maybe if you're wired the other way, if you've just been all, only allowing and never push through, maybe then you need the opposite. So I guess it really depends on, you know, specific person and circumstances. But for me, this is really, it's like finally like making peace with myself. And I've, I've always struggled so much with uh, self-worth and self-love and I, I just couldn't do it just hated myself so deeply and, th and then there was nothing i could do but it seems like okay when there's nothing you can do okay then then do nothing about it then hate yourself and at some point it, it seems to just you ripen like that's my experience like there's a there's a point you ripen and then maybe there is a little bit of self-love that that can come in and you know, this whole, like, there is no self, don't love yourself, don't get stuck in the self. Again, shaming mechanisms. And, like, I've experienced those as, as shaming. And I'm really, like, ready to honor the human experience. Like, really going towards the human experience, but also, like, going towards the sensations and emotions, but also going through. Like, I know my true nature, I know it's all one, and I know the true nature, but, but also it's really the coming home, really the embodiment of that that experience um the embodiment is really what i found missing in, in a lot of spiritual teachings it's all very like dissociated in, in my in my view somehow maybe not all of it but a lot of it in my perception and i could be wrong so i'm gonna wrap this up here and yeah i hope that this is inspiring to someone out there it's just my my process and um I'm not looking for advice. I'm not looking for fixing. I'm not looking for sympathy. I don't really need anything from you. Just This is just me sharing and I hope this supports and helps and maybe shifts something in your life. And, and if not, okay, that's fine as well. But that's what I got, you know, like I don't have it all sorted out, but maybe I can share some things from from my own journey. So okay yeah that's it